Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. It just seems like something in the energy is it's 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 a bit off putting. Um not to say that it's bad. It just feels like something is oh wow, I did not know that the high priestess was at the bottom. <laughs> it just feels like something is coming in. Um Two of Pentacles, you may be feeling a little bit imbalanced right now. Three of Pentacles, you may not know if you want to invest in a person, in a business. You may be feeling like you're not being rewarded or recognized for your work. There could be some kind of jealousy, envy, conflict, chaos, competition that's happening. Um, this could be coming from someone who is watching you. Okay, the Hierophant is here, King of Pentacles, this heavy Taurus energy, Ace of Cups, and then the King of Swords here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, Spirit is telling me to look into it, but for some of you, like in the, either in your community, something that you do for work in your community, or even in spirit it's like there's people either fighting for you it's like you have people fighting against you with this five of wands but you also here you have someone or um there's like some kind of spiritual allegiance or alliance that you have there's a king of swords and the king of cups I'm sorry, the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles with the Hierophant. You could be a High Priestess or a Hierophant. This could be a couple right now that's facing some type of spiritual warfare. There's something going on here. And I'm, am I the only one who, like, I, the energy just feels off, like sleeping pattern. Everything just feels off. Some Something or someone is, is watching the three of cups here, the, the chariot and three of wands, three, three. It's like my, here's three, 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 mind, body, spirit. Something is coming into alignment, but you may, wow, 33, 33 could be significant. Someone has been heavily invested in doing something. Whatever it is that someone has been in the background investing in doing towards you or against you, it was to cause you burdens or delays. There's definitely an energy of someone watching you that's hoping and, and like somebody here is, is hoping, wishing and praying that you have some type of downfall, that you there's some some type of instability here that's being caused for a, a person or this could be divine feminine and masculine energy. These two people don't have to be connected. I just feel like I'm picking up divine feminine, divine masculine, like just a collective of chosen divine beings. You have a lot of people right now who are trying to cause you to juggle or be unstable. Also, too, if, again, this could be just totally your energy or you and another person. For some reason, when I see this high priestess and this hierophant, these are two very spiritual beings. But I'm going to tell you the way that they express their spirituality, the way they talk about their spiritual journey, the way they share their spiritual journey is very different. I feel like the high priestess is more of an introverted type of energy, whereas the hierophant is more extroverted. Okay, the hermit is not out here, but both of these individuals are hermits in a way, as in they believe in soul searching, um, self study, self mastery, gaining a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. We are in Virgo season, so this is two people who could both be kind of in their own personal shell right now. But the the high priestess. Could definitely be a feminine energy doesn't have to be and the hierophant is more of a masculine energy all right you have red and blue here um the high priestess is more modest i would say the high priestess is probably more guarded more secretive more modest um the high priestess is very intuitive psychic 
the hierophant, on the other hand, the, the high priestess is someone who, to me, just kind of knows. Um, they know the high priestess doesn't always tell you what they know. The high priest, you can sit amongst a group of people and there could be a divine feminine or masculine who carries the energy of high priestess. You will never know. This person doesn't really share with others what they know. Okay, now this could be a man or a woman, but then the hierophant is usually someone who is considered like a spiritual leader, religious leader. Um, it could be a practitioner. This is someone who could be a motivational speaker. This is someone who talks about um, they share their life. Um, I, there, there is something here happening with these two energies because I'm picking up a lot. The high priest is, is someone to me who... Their life can easily be an example. They use the lessons, the wisdom from their life to guide others, whereas the Hierophant is perhaps more extroverted, more outspoken. They share their life with others to, as a leader for others to follow. Both of these individuals can be leaders, but again, the way that they present themselves to the public to the community to a congregation is very different. Now, I don't know where this is going, but it's giving very much like preacher first lady kind of vibes to me. Or just like it could be a couple. One is kind of in the forefront and the other likes to be in the shadows. It could be the man or the woman that likes to be in the shadows, but somebody doesn't like to be out somebody here if this is a couple one person could be very very strong i'm hearing supernatural but one person may have a platform and the other one does not this could even be a part like a, a couple where there's a these two individuals could both be like public figures or one is a public figure but what the public does not know is that a lot of the power is coming from the person that's in the background whether male or female Somebody has their eye on these two people. For some, this is just two different type of energies. For some, this is this high priestess and this hierophant is a couple. Or these two people are supposed to be coming together. You have evil eye being sent to these two people. And it's causing instability with the two of pentacles. This instability has someone feeling heartbroken, but this three of swords is this interference from whoever this person or this group is that's sending all of this chaos and conflict. This is a lot of jealousy, envy, pay the swords. It's a lot of malicious energy, a lot of gossiping, blackmailing, assassination of character, defamation. It's all of that. And it's throwing off two people a divine feminine or masculine this is just an attack on chosen ones but again for those who may resonate with being a twin flame or you have a divine counterpart there's there you have a lot of eyes on you it's very interesting though because some people you haven't even met this person yet i feel like a lot of people in the collective have met their divine counterpart though you may not be with them, but I do feel like you've crossed paths with them or you've met them. And these lower energies and entities, they're, they're spying on these divine connections that are coming into fruition. The seven of pentacles. This, this energy being sent towards you, though, is to make you feel like you should just give up. Like it's too hard. That's the whole point. Of this spiritual warfare. It, it's a survival of the fittest. You have people who are watching you. And they're teaming up. This could possibly be individuals even doing rituals. When I see the three of cups and the three of pentacles. They're hoping that once they team up. And they send all of this. Like really nasty energy towards you. All of this chaos and conflict. It will bring about so much instability and confusion. That you'll just give up on whatever this is. That you're trying to manifest. This is to cause, it, it's a lot of energy of just sabotage. 
because what the, the, the this is like a group of spiritualists or psychics with this three of wands the three of wands is foresight it's manifestation it's expansion these people who are watching what what they can see in the distance is this growth they can see the partnership they can see the celebrations they can see the victory and success and this victory and success comes from this hierophant and this high priestess so if this is a couple this is for sure this is a, a high vibing spiritual divine couple now the king of cups is out here with the ace of cups and the king of swords I don't really know why there is two kings with this ace of cups in the middle of them. It's two masculine surrounding this ace of cups. What's that? Queen of cups. Wow. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. You have a feminine out here who has a choice. You have someone from the past and someone from a past life. And there's a lot of confusion because both of these people, both of these people want to offer love or they want to get your love. They want to be tied in to your energy somehow. But you have a Queen of Cups out here, the Ten of Pentacles and the lovers. We all know the lover speaks of a choice. So someone has to make a choice. This King of Swords, for me, I always see the King of Swords sometimes like it's Archangel Michael. Somebody is demanding that a person makes a choice in, I want to say love, but it's not just love. And I've been saying this for a long time. You have to choose a person that is tied to your destiny. Somebody is trying to make a part. It's a huge connection between someone's life purpose and their life partner. You have people sending the evil eye. They want you to make the wrong choice about a partner. Because if you make the wrong choice about your partner, then something with your life purpose will be delayed. So somebody here, it could be a person from your past. That's causing a lot of illusions and confusion for you on purpose. They could be a part of this interference here, this, this group or whomever that's sending all of this chaos because there's a very, very huge offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. It's huge. Yeah, with the Death card, it's life changing. There's a life changing offer here that is going to heal a lot of people. That's why this is here. And somebody with the three of wands, they're looking into this situation and they, they that's what they see happening. They see something moving forward and it being very, very beautiful. So you have this entity. This could be a group. This could be an actual entity, like a spiritual entity for some of you. Some of you, it's a mindset. It could be an ex-lover. It could be friends, family. It could be all of the above. But someone here is obsessed with stealing Anything in your life that brings about joy, anything that's good, it's pure, it's innocent, something here is determined to steal it. This is being revealed to you, though. Whatever this scheme, scam, or scandal is that someone keeps doing, it has to be revealed to you so that the truth can finally set you free and this cycle can be ended. It's a cycle here of a stronghold. This is for this is like some kind of spiritual entity. This is being revealed to you, though, it, so that you can become fully enlightened, awakened and aware so that you can move forward to whatever is next for you. Whatever this is, it's very clear. But I have to be honest with you. With this high vibing energy that I'm getting, I feel like. A lot of people that resonate with this this energy, this reading, you've been in spiritual warfare for maybe the last four to eight weeks or months. But for some of you, you've been in a cycle for the last four to eight, up to 10 years. 
okay? You're so close to closing this cycle out for good. That's why the warfare has gotten so intense. You already know that. New levels, new devils. But there is an element of shock or surprise here. The energy to me right now, and it's late, it's a little bit later at night. Whatever it is that is blocking you, hindering you, this stronghold. Something about it is hidden. The reason why it is hidden, like some of the details about it, is because if you find out exactly who is trying to taunt you, traumatize you, block you, delay you, or whatever, you could possibly really lose your cool and step out of this very divine energy, and it could further delay you. It's like your spiritual team right now, they're trying to hold back certain details of a situation because this is no longer your battle and i had a reading like that a few days ago where i was saying whatever this situation is that is happening in the background it has gotten the attention of very very high level high ranking spirit guides angels ancestors gods goddesses it's like now they're saying this is above you now for some of you, the lesson here is for you to learn how to call on your spiritual team to help you, to defend you in battles that you're not strong enough to fight alone. Whatever this is, it's very dark. And the, the problem with it is not fair at all. Because it feels like there's an entire group fighting one person. Or someone has sent like um, a bunch of entities or dark energies to one person to the point where now it's like it's not even a fair fight. It's not that you're not strong enough to, to battle or deal with this, but you shouldn't even have to. Some of you in, in this high priest is higher. You're so high ranking that these lower level energies are, or, or whatever, you shouldn't even be dealing with this. But something here is hidden. And I feel strongly if you knew who and what it was, you will fly off the handle. And it's like God is like, I don't need you to mess up <laughs> right before I bless you up. Like, don't mess up before the bless up. Don't do it. Don't break before the breakthrough and don't mess up before the bless up. It, it's something here. It's You don't need to know all the details. But what I'm sensing in this energy is you're kind of being told to almost turn your cheek to something that's about to be exposed to focus on becoming more enlightened yourself. It's like you have to keep your eye on the prize. You can't stop right now to figure out who or what this devil is. For for some of you, this this devilish energy, this karmic energy, you have a situation from your past, from a past life that has affected your mind, your overall mindset, your subconscious mind, especially with the Six of Cups and Seven of Cups here. There's like something that has you stuck and bound in the mind that you need to get a, a, a handle on. But for some of you, the reason why this is for sure being... Um, Okay, so let me let me let me tell you how I'm getting it. Somebody could have done like binding magic or spell work on you to have you trapped in the past. You I feel like you're you went into fight or flight mode when this happened. When this attack came. Somebody intended for you to be stuck in the past, but I think that the past has traumatized you so much already. That where you are now in this high priestess hierophant energy, your spirit started to fight this back or your spiritual team came in to battle whatever this was. And what it actually did is it came in and it forced an energy out. But as this energy forced out, you did have to look it in the face and confront it. It reveals something about you or about your past or 
it's like now you've gotten to the bottom of some type of trigger or trauma, but you're still not being shown like who's behind the gun. You're, you, I don't think that you know just yet. I don't know if you'll ever know. It's like the main, you needed to just know what was causing the trigger because once you figure out what's causing the trigger, you can avoid the person with the gun. It's, it's something here. It's, it's hidden though. It's very, but it's being hidden for, look, it's being hidden for a reason. For some of you too, what's hidden is something like in your Akashic records. Somebody keeps trying to tap in. They're already doing, using um, magic and divination to spy on you. But there's something in the hermit here. It's something that you are learning or you've learned about yourself or like your spiritual team, they know about you. That these individuals, no matter what they do, they can't seem to find out something about you. The moon is in the reverse. There's like the moon in the reverse will speak of truth, clarity, and revelation. But the way I'm seeing it with the hermit, I feel like somebody ha is something about your energy. Um, the the moon stays in the reverse. There's never like an accurate read on your energy so no matter who comes this hermit i talked about this the other day too it's like in the bible when you hear about the story of um saul and when he goes to the medium to get information and he finds out that pretty much like his rival david is going to pretty much get his kingdom he he goes and and he asked the mediums to call on a dead spirit, which happened to be Samuel in the Bible. Samuel appears as a very old man. Also, when Saul went out into the the town or whatever looking for the medium, he dressed himself in common clothes instead of his robe. There's something about your energy that is so highly protected and cloaked. You're being cloaked by, uh, and protected by your your spiritual team. Your angels, your guides, your ancestors, I feel like you make them very happy. They make you happy. They're not allowing somebody to see the truth about you. So whenever these people, they go in to dive deep into your energy, they can't get the, a full, like, accurate read. And also, too, I just realized that this is the moon and this is the hermit card. We just had a new moon in Virgo a few days ago. What's today? Like the 17th of September? 18th of September? We just had a new moon in Virgo last week. So somebody could have tried to tap into something in your energy to get a read on you so that they could block a new moon manifestation that you've been working on. And I, it didn't work. It didn't work. So if you were worried about, are you going to get something that brings about happiness? You are. But somebody definitely tried to dive very deep to block something here. And it has this Ace of Cups for some of you. Whatever this blessing is, it has to do with love or like your spiritual gifts. For some of you, it could be a child. It could be all of the above. The Ten of Cups is here though. Yeah. You're, look, the fool and the ace of wands. Whatever this is, again, you don't have to worry about it because judgment has already been called on it. The the passion and new beginning, the happiness, you're going to get it. Just period. Somebody was being like gossiping, being very mean, malicious or whatever five of swords here. This is the energy of somebody that was trying to really one up you. It doesn't matter. Somebody was going for sure after your abundance. This Virgo energy is something that you've been working on so that you will have an opportunity to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Somebody, they, they tried, they sent an attack out so that you would just be like, you would hit rock bottom. Yeah. So this could definitely be somebody tries to come after your finances. The goal was to have you to hit rock bottom 
But in actuality, now everything gets balanced out. You have two sixes on the side of the, the temperance. So everything here gets balanced out. You're extremely protected when it comes to you receiving justice. Somebody wanted to throw something out of balance. What it did, like I said before, is it backfired. Somebody sent a really, really dark, nasty energy towards you. And they could have done spell work, moon magic. They looked into your future. I'm seeing it clearly. They looked into your future. They saw that something was coming in. They decided that they wanted to block this manifestation. For some of you, it's the manifestation of a new business that's emotionally fulfilling, a creative project. It could be a child, you starting a family. Um, it could be marriage, a new commitment. Somebody looked into this and they didn't like what they saw. So whatever you was trying to manifest or whatever spirit was wanting to bring in, you know, Mercury just went direct. Um, yeah, it didn't work. It backfired. For some of you, you, you recently experienced like a major trigger from this trauma because these people, they sent some nasty energy towards you. But if if it forced you to bring your vibration even higher than what it was initially going to be, if you notice the emperor and the emperor, are, the emperor and the empress are not out here. The high priestess and the hierophant came out. So somebody tries to block you from being the emperor and the empress, and it actually forced you to level up even higher. I mean, really pay attention to that. The emperor and the empress aren't out here. It went straight into the hierophant and the high priestess. You have the ten of pentacles out here with the lovers. There's a very serious commitment or offer here. And sixes is all about balance. So somebody was trying to do magic on you hoping that you would be left out in the cold that you would need help they may have wanted you to be sick in poverty and your spiritual team or this new energy that you have it transmitted all of this energy now you have victory success you got right on past whatever this evil eye energy was that they sent to you remember the five of wands you there's no chaos or conflict here you move right past it into the six of wands you transmuted it if you and somebody are supposed to come together for any kind of purpose or if you're just going within union within yourself, balancing your feminine and masculine energy, it was it was done. And now the six of pentacles, you're going to have something to come into your life that's going to bring you balance. It's going to be this is a generous offer from the divine and somebody saw you receiving something and they made it a point. Oh, I'm going to block that. And justice had to be called on this person. And we are going into Libra season. So, you know, a lot of people, they think they know so much about energy. But, you know, even with collective energy, you're doing magic with six planets in retrograde going into Libra season. Like, big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> the King of Wands. Somebody now is looking. I feel like this person is, like, somebody is looking at you and they're hoping that you're confused they hope that you don't see anything that you're about so somebody tried to do a binding spell they're trying to figure out they're waiting to see is this energy going to bind you and block you no it's not it's king of wands Or somebody put up a blockage so that a situation wouldn't be balanced out and you would not be able to see or take action towards a, a king of wands. Here's the queen of wands. Yeah, that's what this is. Somebody, th This is all about somebody blocking. Queen and king of wands could be twin flames. You and this person are actually, you went from, from showing up as the queen and king of wands or the emperor and the empress right into the hierophant and the high priestess. But somebody came in and they decided that they were going to put a block up for this contract. This is a spiritual contract. The, the justice card, this is a spiritual contract. For some of you, you're supposed to be meeting someone 
or taking something to the next level, starting creating something, possibly during Libra season. So somebody went in the spirit and they decided that they wanted you stuck and bound. They didn't want you to see anything. They didn't want you to touch anything. Again, what did I tell you earlier? Here is the chaos, the conflict, the confusion, the illusions by this devil here. This is somebody that tries to get in your mind and insert these false beliefs. Okay, so for some of you, it's like somebody has tried to make you feel like you shouldn't be in the type of job you're in. You shouldn't start a business. You shouldn't start this relationship. Somebody came in to just make sure that you don't take action. That was That's all this was about. Because if you take action now in some direction in your life, it's going to lead you to a particular person. And whoever you end up connecting with, even if it's strictly just business, the, the contract, the connection is Ten of Pentacles. And it makes you happy. Somebody, they, they don't want to see that happen at all. The hangman. So somebody took action to make sure that there was a delay with someone. But it doesn't matter. Even if it was a delay, it was temporary. You're moving on to peaceful, calm waters. There is an offer here or an apology. Yep. The Wheel of Fortune. That's good luck. Something is, is shifting in your favor because it's destined. But you had you you got stuck. It was a fork in the road energy because they sent a nasty energy or an attack towards you. It's only because they know you're going towards the four of wands. So here's the nasty energy that was sent, most likely towards the divine feminine. Was it a king of cups out here? No. Queen of Cups is out here. Yeah, somebody wanted a person to turn their back. Whoever is taking action. Also, too, somebody could have recognized that a person was coming into your life. They're taking action to becoming awakened. Meaning this person is turning their back on what doesn't serve them. And who are they looking at? They're looking at the divine feminine. And they're seeing divine feminine as someone that they love. So this King of Cups will go here with the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. So it's a pair here. It's the King and the Queen of, of Wands here. But somebody is taking action now to go through their awakening. This connection is being protected by Archangel Michael. You can have a King of Pentacles that's looking at this new offer. But the offer is being protected by Archangel Michael. And your spiritual team of angels, guides, and ancestors. They already see who you're destined to be with. So whoever this is causing all of this ruckus in the background could be a Capricorn. This devil energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, doesn't have to be. Could be any sign. They keep on looking at new love in your life. And, and they come and they try to destroy this. And I feel like the reason why is because you have the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles. You destroyed or they destroyed a connection that they previously had with you. This comes out every day. And now you're manifesting the ultimate wish fulfillment. And it's elsewhere. It's not with them. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Emperor. I feel like this person is trying to send communication to you that they're the Emperor. You don't want the Emperor anymore. You want the hierophant or the high priestess. This person is trying to send a message to you. They're trying to get you to confirm that you know who they are. Yeah, you know that who they are, but you don't want them. And they don't like that. They don't like that you're rejecting them. Yeah, you're rejecting them. You're turning your back on them, rejecting them. And you're working on an equal give and take. You're working on a spiritual Connection, which is the Hierophant and the High Priestess. This person is constantly hanging in the background trying to figure out how can they get on your path. And they're stressed out about it. Because the person that's going to come in and work on the relationship, for some of you, they're already here. 
and you're happy with them or they're happy with you. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. And the truth is, somebody thought that they was going to rush in towards you and start all of this chaos and conflict and they're in deep regret. Their, their regret is why they did this. But they're especially in deep regret now because this, this all backfired. The evil eye that they sent you, it completely backfired. They sent an evil eye so strong to you and they gathered up people and sent so much bad juju towards you. It was supposed to completely destroy everything that you had coming. But in actual, it just leveled you up. That's it. You have a very, very, like, beautiful, enchanted love with somebody here. It's just written in the stars. Like, obviously, a lot of people are doing a lot to try to block it, but it can't be blocked. I mean, sometimes it can be delayed, but even if it's being delayed, it's because you're still learning a lesson yourself. Everything that's happening or has happened, it was for a reason. But somebody sent a real nasty attack towards you. That's for sure. You could have had car problems recently. Flat tires. Dead battery. Amethyst could help you. Your closest friends may be holding a grudge against you. Someone is always trying to run up, one up you in competition with you. And they're trying to block your root chakra. This car should not be in this deck, but it's here. <laughs> this card is in a totally different it's from a totally different deck but you see what it is the four of pentacles somebody here is trying to hold on to you this is a very stingy possessive controlling person somebody is competing with you you definitely need psychic protection this person tries to control you and they like to do things while you're sleeping or in your dream state. They keep trying to one up you. Like, like I said, this person is possibly tampering with your dreams, trying to figure sleep paralysis is here. They're trying to figure out what's coming in. You could be like a prophetic dreamer. They want to know what's coming in for you so that they can block it. This person is a dream thief. Like, literally, they're doing stuff in the sleep state, in your dreams, but all of your hopes, wishes, and dreams, they're trying to steal it by blocking your root chakra. They don't want you to set any type of positive intentions. So, whoever this is, I'm getting very much that this is like a practitioner or they deal with a practitioner because the type of manipulation and magic that I'm seeing here, it's extremely methodical. It's very strategic. Like... If you think about a new moon, right, setting intentions, when you go to set intentions, you need a clear mind. So this person here is using like amethyst crystals and blocking your root chakra and trying to hop in and attack you while you're sleeping. And I, I think I said something about that at the beginning of this reading about the sleep pattern being off because I never record readings at night, but lately I've been recording at night. This is a scorned lover and they're upset because you, you they can't get access to your sacral chakra. But they secretly keep tabs on your every move. You're being advised not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages or drug use. Some of you, you need to try to sleep light. It's almost like you need to sleep light because somebody, if they can get you in a weird altered state, they're, they're doing something to you. It's a spiritual or psychic attack. They're doing, they're trying to bind. What, what this person is trying to do, this person could be like a, a Satanist or they work with, say, this person is trying to bind you in the spirit while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. They are. They're keeping tabs on you energetically by getting into your dream state. I don't know if they're astral traveling or projecting towards you. I'm also seeing this person may be using jars. But what this person is doing is they're putting crystals in jars and they're setting intentions for all good things to pretty much be reversed. So this person could be um, doing like a like an ammonia jar. But it's not to like uh, some people do ammonia jars because they want to 
reverse certain things. So this person is doing some kind of spell work where like they will send a bunch of bad energy towards you. They want you to have car problems because they don't want you to be able to get around and travel. So maybe you are considering like traveling somewhere or they don't want you to be able to make it to work. Something crazy like that. But they also are um, trying to do something with your dreams. They're, they either want you to be sleep in a state of like sleep paralysis so that they can send dark. And they're trying to send dark energy to you while you're sleeping. That will bind up your root chakra and sacral chakra. And like I said, it's very, very strategic how this person is doing this. This is a practitioner for some of you. Or they're like they're they're in the occult or something because a new moon, a person will be, you know, maybe you're trying to manifest abundance, you know, security, stability, root chakra, sacral chakra is also creativity. This person wants all of your creativity blocked. So they're going in your sleep trying to bind you to possibly like dark entities or some type of demon to th th this reminds me of another reading I've done where it's like this person is assigning an entity to you to drain your sacral energy. So, oh, OK. Yeah, oh, this is. Oh, my gosh. And look at how on this particular card, which was not in this deck, this is a really big deck of cards. And this card is in here. So, you know, spirit did that on purpose. This person, like, I don't know what this is, but this person definitely may use crystals. I don't know if this is a man or woman doing this, but they definitely may use crystals, mirrors. They're trying to amplify some type of magic. I'm just trying to, like, put fully in words. So... For some of you, this is like an ex-friend that's holding a grudge against you. Like, they're pissed. This person is sending... They want you to be sick. They want you to have issues with your car and at your house. Because they don't want you to have any willpower to do anything. This person is sending death magic. Like, they're trying to put an end to everything around you. They don't want you to have willpower. They don't want you to transmute energy. They don't want you to have any kind of discipline no confidence they want problems to happen at your home you could notice something wrong with your windows your it could be electrical problems plumbing that we're in the post shadow phase of mercury retrograde but somebody here is working with a lot of energies trying to cause you issues they're also trying making Trying to make you have like flu-like symptoms, headaches, you know, congestion. Somebody is just trying, they want you flat on your back, unable to do anything so that they can hold on to you. But they're trying to bind you in the spirit because they are attaching something to you that's going to drain your energy. So what this person is doing, the way spirit is showing me right now is this person in your dream state and at night, they're going in and it's almost like they're trying to trap your spirit or your soul when you are receiving downloads or you're trying to come into like like a manifestation, what they're doing is they are somehow attaching something to you so that all of your blessings, it like it's like it goes to them instead. So this is somebody who definitely is trying to do this like dream, dream catching, destiny swap type stuff. And they, they do this on a regular. Judging your family background or culture, karma's a B. <laughs> The, it, look, it says the evil eye they sent your way has backfired and they tried to block your third eye. Jealous of your material lifestyle, home, car, clothes. And it says here you need to practice a return to sender protection ritual and get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. Yeah, these people are sending some kind of dark entities or something to you while you sleep. Or they're trying to. I hope this isn't happening to you. But... Um, because yeah, you don't want to be your own worst enemy. You don't want to assume the worst, but this is happening to someone. Your, your spiritual team could be protecting you. They could be keeping you up at night so that you don't go to sleep. Th these people are doing this late at night. And I keep saying these people because I feel like it's a group. They do this at night. 
This is a, a group of people who have very low self-esteem. And they want your blessings to be theirs. Is what this is. These people... They have their own childhood wounds, but they are trying to play on whatever wounds you have so that you will spin out of control and self-sabotage yourself. And then they can get their hand on whatever your gift is. Mm -hmm. These people are using some type of um, potion or... They're drinking something or smoking something to put them in some kind of, um, I don't know, maybe it's like a meditative state or something like that. Yeah, this is a group doing this. It's like they're drinking something or maybe they're doing um, like psychedelics or something like that. They're going, it's like a mind trip that they're going on. So they're definitely doing some kind of astral travel or projection or something like that so that they can come in, in your, your, uh, they try to do this when you're unconscious. It's a tap into this King of Pentacles looking at that Ace of Cups. This is something with your dreams or your emotions, your psychic gifts. But every time they try to get their hands on this, Archangel Michael is blocking it. So they're having a more difficult time. Whatever this is, it has backfired. Occupation. Yeah, somebody here has been working hard. And it could be because you have the gift of a marriage or a contract coming in where you're supposed to have great fortune with this wealthy man. This has another man in despair. Because something here is over. So this wealthy, for some of you, there's a wealthy man that's in despair because their days of looking like an official person are coming to an end because whatever they've been stealing from you, because you're actually the privileged lady, it should be rerouted back to you. The last shall be first. The first shall be last. This person has been stealing from you. Mature man, mature woman, courthouse, courtship. Yeah. And it, it's a whole lot of like real crazy stuff going on let's see there was a bunch of cards that felt came out but occupation expectation somebody is waiting on some work or a job an opportunity message of concern i'm telling you somebody is sitting back and they're waiting to see like did the magic work no it didn't because they this is a, the dream thief they came in to steal it somebody is asking like did it work did you block it? Did you stop it? Did it work? Somebody is, is going to do like, a, has done a, a return to sender spell or something right on time. Yeah, and now somebody's concerned. Wow. Somebody is really concerned now because they're like, so now what? It didn't work? False person. Poverty, bad health. <laughs> it's like somebody lied to a person and told them that they could get a, like, a level up or something, and they didn't. Instead, they got sick. Because, just keep in mind, these people have been sending spell work out to make somebody lose money and to be sick and to lose all of their willpower all of their energy, this is backfiring. So whoever this is that did this, they're going to be in poverty and sick. November 22nd or November 26th could be of significance. Sudden wealth, great fortune, and official person. You may be receiving a message of concern of like a big opportunity, maybe a windfall of abundance. It could be a new job or something like that. Somebody also could have been trying to block a person from getting employment. Yeah, toil and labor. Somebody has been working really, really hard. This feels like a ma this is um something happening to a masculine. There's a masculine who should be an official person and receiving great fortune, but you have a false person that's wishing this person ill, especially when it comes to their stability.
it's just a matter of time before all of this backfires and everybody's going to get what's theirs because it's part of their destiny and it was also part of someone's destiny to run into this community this group of people because you had to go through this group you had to battle them in order to rank up yep and this community they wanted this privileged lady out of there so that they could steal your um when I see the child card, it's like they wanted to steal your fertility, which is your abundance. Whatever new was supposed to come to you, they wanted it for themselves. So they wanted to pretty much get rid of you because you have a new beginning that brings you high honor. And here it is. They wanted to steal it. So, yeah, the lovers. So obviously, you guys, you're manifesting. This is a marriage contract. With a high-ranking person spiritually who could be wealthy. Th this group of people, they wanted to come up. Yeah. This mature woman. For some of you, this is this um, practitioner. This person has been in cahoots with another person. Really watching and monitoring. This is a group effort. They've been watching and monitoring everything to see what's coming in for you. And they want to reach in and snatch it. Very jealous of your material lifestyle. So some of you, you're doing well for yourself financially. And you have somebody that's keeping tabs on you. They could they could be sending people into your life. There's a scorn lover here. Somebody is giving people information about you. But I mean, seriously, they're sending attacks to your house, your car, your health blocking your chakras that's what i'm saying it's a group effort it's like all these people in this community this group they have one person that's working working on your chakras they have a person that's sending spell work to your house and your car they have someone that's doing dream you know um magic on you like they they're all doing all this different stuff or there is a bunch of people lighting candles they're doing jars freezers but like i'm so they're, they're throwing their whole spell book at you because of i'm assuming this new beginning you have as a hierophant or a high priestess or a relationship that you have like that they are determined to dictate control you and to steal from you that's all they want to do and what's really crazy is for some of you you don't know these people personally There's something here, again, it's very indirect. And I, God is just like, yeah, don't, you don't have to know exactly who it is. Just know that, that like, I got you. I'll, I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. You need to keep working hard on whatever you know is for you. And just let divine intervention, just let God take care of this. Because you're being hidden or protected. The truth has to come out about what these people are doing in the dark anyway. To cause you these delays. They're definitely trying to cover up your third eye chakra so that you will be imbalanced. They try to cause an imbalance with your your creativity and your intuition. And oh my God, it reminds me of a reading I did the other night. This story keeps coming up. It's just like when Saul got mad. He went to the medium. Why did he go to the medium? Because God... He wasn't hearing from God. There was no prophets coming to him giving information and he wasn't having dreams. So for some of you, you have like a person, it could be an ex-friend, family member, lover. It could be a spiritual practitioner. Somebody is unable right now to tap into their gifts. So they're trying to take yours. Wow. That story, that story has been coming up to me for like the last three days. This person is cloaking themselves to steal your gifts because their gifts, they're, they're bound now to something. They're bound to a bad situation and it's like their spiritual gifts aren't working. Something has backfired. So they're, they're coming in, cloaking themselves, trying to steal your energy when you're in an unconscious state, most likely when you're asleep. They're trying to steal your dreams, interpret them, figure out what's coming in so that they can block anything that brings you love. But this person is also with that big ace of cups there. They're trying to tap into your emotions, your psyche, your, your mind, 
and all of your psychic gifts, especially your discernment. It's like they're trying to stop you from discerning the truth. They don't want you to discern the truth because they don't want you to know that they're coming into your dreams, stealing from you. It's a lot here. Like somebody, they're using you um, for everything. Like they're using you to steal your dreams so that they can see what's coming towards you because they want to block it. They're using your energy to shape shift or astral travel or project whatever they're doing. But they're also trying to, it's like they're using your energy to block you from seeing that they're using your energy. That's what this is. That's the best way I can describe it. Because I see it. I can see what they're doing. It's like somebody in their house. It's a room in their house where they have all of their spell work. It's candles. It's jars. It's crystal. It's all kinds of stuff. And they, they're work. They, they, this is they're working on somebody. I guess like they could have an altar like they. I'm sorry, I have my eyes closed, <laughs> and I'm rubbing my eyes. Like they're they're doing work, and they do this at night. But this is definitely a group. It's a practitioner because they are very much aware of these moon cycles. They, they know when they're coming. They know about moon cycles. They know about astrology. What we just saw in the reading is too strategic. They're like, oh, it's a new moon. Block their root chakra. Let's, let's mess up their money. You know, like they know. Or it's Virgo season. Let's stop this person from going within. Or when this person does go within, let's make them self-sabotage these people they, they think they're real smart i mean i'm not gonna lie their approach this premeditated approach it's it's smart but you're too you're too protected what they're doing to you is not meant to work this it, it'll never it just won't work yeah somebody's new moon ritual or whatever it just it it, it's, it didn't work Oh, my goodness. Today is September 18th. Mercury retrograde ended on the 15th. So the, the energy is wonky anyway. Yeah. The Virgo new moon was on September 14th. That was four days ago. So, you know, energy around the moons is pretty potent. Like three days before, three days after. And somebody, that's why they're waiting. Like, did it work? Did it work? It's the 18th and something. They're like, did it work? It still didn't work. Somebody, it feels like somebody jumped in right on time. And you may have done an egg cleanse, a spiritual bath. You said a prayer. You read. You did something and it, it stopped, blocked, or transmuted, whatever this was. And that really has them pissed because they put so much effort and energy into it. They they had to build up a lot of energy to do this. And they spent a lot of money either hiring other people or buying materials to do it. Mm. Yeah, somebody's trying to copy your style. This is a copycat. Distort, look at that. Distorted feminine and distorted masculine. This could be a couple that tries to do this to you, but for some of you, yeah, ex lover. It's an ex lover and fake friends. If this is a couple, either the feminine, This distorted feminine and masculine energy, this could be a couple that's doing this to you. But for some of you, you have an ex-lover or a fake friends who are intimidated. They're trying to get you to sabotage yourself or this connection. They're spreading lies. They want you and a person to, to appear to be distorted. That's what they've done. They've, they've, they've sent some type of distorted energy to you and another person. Look, seventh house. This situation involves someone's partnerships, marriage, business matters, 
could be enemies depending on the situation. Yeah, you have ex-friends or an ex-lover that's intimidated. They're spreading lies to sabotage you. What they did is they sent the nasty attack towards you and perhaps your counterpart to make you both appear to be distorted. So like a masculine right now could be in a distorted energy. They could be very forceful, very angry, aggressive. It's like a Mars retrograde energy. Like all of a sudden very moody, like hostility, anger. They can't give you a compliment. Like they're all of a sudden very competitive, wanting to abuse power. And then the feminine energy, somebody was hoping that you would fear conflict and you would just back down and be naive and gullible instead of you actually manifesting. They, they, this is all to sabotage a, a connection. That's it. That's what it is. Somebody here is stressed and deranged. It's somebody is looking. They see that it's a partnership coming in. And somebody was like, no, let's. And they want you and this person to appear karmic or distorted to one another so that you will separate. Yep, this person here could be reading like a crystal ball or something. Spirit said, just keep shining. Don't worry about it. You, you will be very shocked to find out who this is. And again, for some of you, you don't know who this is. But they've met, your, met their match with you because you're grown. And this person is out here doing all this foolishness for clout. <laughs> yep. Hidden truths, secrets, dreams once has. Hidden strengths and weaknesses. The unconscious mind and karma. So somebody is playing around with the person's seventh house and twelfth house. Seventh house is going to involve your partnerships and marriage. The twelfth house is hidden truths, your strengths, your weaknesses, and like it says, your unconscious mind and karma. So somebody is trying to put a bunch of stuff in your mind to make you sabotage a connection. This is an ex-lover for some of you that's in a narcissist. This person, they don't realize that you're very intelligent. This is, you know, you you can anticipate the, the moves of this person even when they spiritually attack you. So you need to just stay, stay chill right now. This was weird. I don't know that the, these people, you can tell by the energy that I'm picking up on. It's a lot of cloaking. Because I'm, I'm having a kind of pull at the energy. Of course, they don't want to reveal. Somebody, whoever this is, they do not want you to know who they are. Some of you, you don't know who they are. Or you know this person very well. They don't want you to know what they're doing. And they do this at night. This person wants you to have intimacy issues. UTIs, be infertile, living in fear, paranoid. I mean, wow. This this person is a real hater. I mean, a real hater. Like, and this card wasn't even supposed to be in the deck. This person definitely works with crystals and crystal balls or something. 